European tour star Nicholas Colsarts is known for his length off the tee and for being a bit of a dude. On his back is experienced Aussie caddy Brian Nilsson, who's also worked with Adam Scott. Golfing World caught up with them recently to examine their relationship. I told him to wear white trousers more often, you know, and, and, and look, finally he's got there, you know. Yeah, it's taken me four years to listen, you know, so and that's how healthy our relationship is. Trousers aside, it's been a very fruitful relationship so far as they've recorded two wins on the European Tour, broken into the world's top 50, led in a major and enjoyed the momentous Ryder Cup win at Medina as part of the European team in 2012. We started, what, is it three, four years ago? Yeah, uh, Dubai four years ago. Yeah, four years. Yeah, yeah. Four and a half years, yeah. yeah. I was uh, I was on my way back on tour and I I sort of uh, sent somebody undercover to find out who was going to be available for the year after and uh, um, gave me a list of three names and three names and Brian was the one standing out you know uh, he, he, he carried some pretty good bags and he'd been you know quite loyal to uh, all his former bosses and it was what I was looking for so we gave it a try and uh, and worked ever since. It's 353 yards, but that's no problem for many. They call the Belgian bomber. Nicholas Colsart, just watch this. I couldn't believe how far he thought the starters. I guess that was the first thing I, I it was, compared to the person I was working for, it was probably the shortest guy on tour. So that was the first thing that it was just mind blowing how far he hit it and how good he was. I realized quite quickly that he was a pretty laid-back dude, uh, and that was something I was uh, looking for. Uh, you know, you spend a lot of time together, and um, it was, you know, I realized quite quickly that I could spend a lot of time with Brian. And um, yeah, you know, every we, we we went every step of the way very uh, very nicely, and you know, you, we just ticked the boxes every uh, every now and then, and it, it was it was quite a it was quite a healthy relationship early on. We got to live things together that uh, I think in our wildest dreams was was uh, pretty difficult to imagine. Uh, um, I don't know on your part, but uh, I mean we, we've lived some yeah, pretty badass moments. I thought. Absolutely, you know, and getting to the Ryder Cup, I, I I knew he'd always get there, but I never expected probably so soon, really. Yeah, everything went pretty fast. I mean, uh, I mean we, we, you know, obviously winning. Winning in China on your on your 30th birthday was pretty cool. Was it 40th or 31st? 30th birthday, yeah. yeah. 40th, right? Yeah, 40th. Oh, thir 30th. Oh, sorry. <laughs> um, yeah, you know, there was that. You know, we get into the match play, we have a good run at that, and then we play in it the year after, we win, ride a cup. Yeah, every year, every six months, there was something, you know, that it was really standing out. So I just kept going along. And it was actually, it was it was actually better, a lot of better. fun, yeah. Ow. Well, so it still right. is, don't get me wrong. It was a great ride. <laughs> but just like in all relationships, there are downs as well as ups. My toughest moment together was, I, was, I don't know, it's hard to tell. I mean, you go from one week to another very quickly that you kind of want to put it aside. I mean, I, I mean uh, the Ryder Cup, like, I mean, yeah, it, it was Cup, such yeah. a... The first day was unbelievable, and then the next day you get beaten by one hole, and then it, it feels like it's the worst thing in the world, doesn't it? When you get when you lose a match in there, you know? but then in the end it will, it will come good. Yeah, but it's such an emotional ride as well. I mean, I, I I remember I remember on the when I lost the singles on the on on the Sunday, I I went and shook your hands and hugged you, and I was like really, you know. I think I thank you for I don't know how many seconds like yeah. you know, it's probably the only longest ever thank you I ever made to anyone. Yeah, yeah. But uh, I felt so because it's such a it's a team event. You you, you feel you didn't want to let the team down. You didn't want to let, let everyone down. Huh? Yeah, but but you, it's you, even worse you, because it's like a team in the team, you know? Yeah. Because it's two of us, you know, all of a sudden playing in the singles, and it's just two of us playing. What a ride, isn't it? What a ride indeed for the European Ryder Cup class of 2012. Nicholas was one of Jose Maria's wildcard picks and became the first ever Belgian to play in the competition. He paid his captain back with the finest opening round by a rookie in Ryder Cup history. 
He was the dominant partner in his four-ball win with Lee Westwood on the Friday, producing a record-breaking eight birdies and an eagle to beat Tiger and Steve Stricker and win Europe's only point in that session. So what's the secret to a successful partnership? I think you need to get along in every... In every compartment of, I mean, emotionally and, and personally and privately. You, know, you spend so much time together that you... I mean, I, I'm a pretty sensitive guy, so I mean, I'd like to know what's going on in his life and, and um, what he thinks at certain moments. I mean, I, it's almost like I consider you part of family. Keeping it fresh. I've looked at that in the last few weeks. Keeping it fresh is what, what keeps, keeps it all, keeps you happy. And, and, and being doing new things and, and keeping it always fresh, that's the secret. It's basically just like a male and female couple. I mean, you should get a... I'm a man. You get a... What? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you got to work at it every day. I mean, you know. Yeah, just like any other couple.